Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to cut a bob the easiest way in less than 10 minutes. The one length long bob is really popular right now, so let's just get into it and teach you how to do it with the quickness. First, we're going to start off on 14 inch hair. This is only two bundles and a front toe. The link will be in the description below. I'm just going to quickly run through and flat iron this. The main thing you want to remember when you're flat ironing the hair is to flat iron it in the direction that you want to wear the bob so the same parting and everything and make sure it's super sleek and super flat then once you have all the hair in place you want to go ahead and grab your handy dandy clippers that's right we're using clippers to cut a bob it is so fast so you want to make sure that your clippers are all the way together with the teeth facing right against each other and you're just going to take your comb and comb down the hair and make sure all the hair is in the same line and literally just cut all the way across and you end up with this super crisp sharp line and the one length bob is super popular so this is the quickest way to do it without getting any choppiness so you can just watch what I'm doing here is super simple all you need is the comb to make sure that the hair is not going to move when you go across the bottom and just slide those clippers across and it literally cuts the hair like butter it's so easy it cuts straight through the hair that the hair doesn't even move I even have wind blowing and you can still see that the hair is staying in place if you do find that your clippers may be a little bit dull just use your comb to hold the hair in place as you're going across but if you have good clippers then you won't need the comb for every little piece like I'm doing right now so I'm just gonna let you guys watch this and then I'll come back in to show you how you can customize it even further You want to make sure that you're checking constantly standing in front of the wig standing on the side of the wig standing in the back of the wig and you want to make sure that your eye level with where you're cutting because it is super easy to go lopsided and one of my tricks is I like to go from one side to the other I don't like to go all the way around in one swoop because then you might get a slight slant and that is not cute unless of course you want an asymmetrical bob which is totally trendy so if that's the look you're going for then for sure but if it's a bob you want to make sure you do it evenly on both sides first and then just kind of meet yourself in the middle So the next thing you do after your cut is completely crisp, you want to take a flat iron and do the comb chase method all the way around and kind of bump your bob however you plan to wear it. Some people like a really big bump, some people don't like a bump at all. I'm just kind of slightly curving it at the end. It's kind of like barely noticeable but I feel like it brings it all together. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is take your cutting shears and you're going to take your comb and point cut upward. Make sure that you are going upward and not diagonal because if you go diagonal then that's when you start taking off the length. And the reason we're point cutting is not to take off length. You're literally just releasing some of the bulk at the end of the bob. Because one length bobs can tend to be really choppy and really bulky at the ends, but you don't really want it to be bulky. You want it to lay flat 
and kind of just smooth into each other so point cutting is a really good thing to do just to kind of step up your bob a little bit and I also like to take the comb underneath the hair and lift it up just to kind of really get in there and just keep doing the same thing all the way around to the front the main areas you're going to need to do is kind of like behind the ear and in the back because that's where the hair folds over and it tends to be more bulky on the sides and back these are my swivel thumb shears these help you cut in a comfortable way so that you aren't harming your wrists as you can see my thumb is able to stay flat and my wrist is able to stay straight whereas with regular scissors I would be in an uncomfortable wrist position so swivel thumbs help you cut more comfortably so that your career lasts longer and you won't end up with arthritis <laughs> if you guys want to check out these shears I will leave the link in the description below if I can find it I got them years ago they do come with a lifetime warranty so that's good they will sharpen them for you cover up any nicks for you and yeah they're pretty awesome so I'm just going to continue to point cut and then I'm going to come back again with my flat iron and just do the comb chase method like I always do. And that is literally it. You don't need to do anything else. Your bob is done in less than 10 minutes. And yeah, I hope this was very helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching and I really do hope that if you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button and join the family and leave a comment down below and say hashtag new subby. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.